Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech and today we are going to install on our GoPro Hero 8 Black the GoPro Labs firmware. Before we begin, what is the GoPro Labs firmware? So basically this firmware is still not an official over the air update that we will have probably one day soon. It's a firmware that includes some experimental features and they might not work perfectly yet, they are still in development, but we can manually install them and it shouldn't hurt any of the existing features. The custom firmware is already here and basically the only thing that you need to do to install it is just put in your SD card the update folder from the download that I'll give a link in the descriptions of this video obviously and basically you extract the file that you download and put the update folder on the SD card of your GoPro. Then once you turn it on, you'll see it immediately, it will install the firmware. So let's turn on the camera and install the firmware. So once the firmware is installed, our GoPro knows how to read some pretty nifty QR codes that we can easily generate via a specific website from our phone or from our computer, whatever you prefer, and then we just point the camera onto the phone, on the QR code, and it will do its thing. Now there are pretty cool things that we can do with that, and we'll see it in a moment. The link to this website obviously will be in the description, but for now let's try something let's try for should be owner's information here it is we click on that and pretty much we can customize it with our name so we can pretty much go here and let's write demostech and now we have a demostech owner and we should point the camera at our screen and let's see that's it Oh, it's kind of recognizing it all the time. Now I think it will restart itself. Nope. Let's restart the camera and you should probably see that it writes the owner name. And here it writes Demostech for a moment. And you can leave like this uh, your phone number, for example, or some other contact details, or if you have multiple GoPro cameras, so you can mark each one with a specific name. Now, that's kind of cool, but let's do something else. Uh, let's try the motion recognition and record only when it's motion. So, for example, we will go to motion detection. And we have quite a couple of settings. Let me bring the phone closer. And as you can see, we can configure here things like the sensitivity, like start delay, obviously you want to scan it and then put the camera somewhere and then only start the motion detection and we have some other features for now what we'll do we'll just try i think five yeah i think five seconds of a delay yeah and once we'll scan the barcode we pretty much put the camera and once motion is detected it should start recording now that we are on the tripod we can try to scan it and see what happens that's it, and we'll start detection in a few seconds as you can see. Now once I move something, it will start recording, so let's try it with our hand. And that's it, it's already starting to record, and it's now recording. In order to cancel it, we can obviously stop the recording. Now it should record for some amount, which I'm not really sure what we actually configured. Now as you can see, the text is showing some weird stuff sometimes, but I guess it will automatically stop after some time and if not we can always just stop recording and I believe it will start again if we'll move I'm not really sure no not right now so we can pretty much scan it again and then it will do it so after doing another check I understood that if we'll disable the 60 FPS and we will be on 4k 30 FPS at maximum 
we will be able not only to start recording, but it will actually continue to recognize it, which means that after some time, it will stop recording. And it will again recognize our hand or anything, and it will start recording again. And again, if there's no motion, it will stop after a few seconds, as you can see in right now. There are lots of other commands and features that we can use and it's kind of awesome that we can now add all those features. It's very easy to use, just the QR codes and you can actually just take a screenshot of some QR codes and you are good to go. Whenever you need them, just point the camera and that's it. You can also reconfigure some pretty fine settings for example, so if you have multiple cameras you can actually define the same settings. Also there is a precision date and time, we can go here. So it, you can see that now the QR is going in a blazing fast speed and that's in order to take a precise time on our GoPro. And that's it, it sets the accurate time and if you have multiple GoPros you can set the same time for all of them at once with no issue. Thank you for watching this Demos Tech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one!